Now, in this final section of the course, it will be led by me, but with Paul, we're used to this by now, and we will have a few guest speakers and visit a few locations to explore this really big topic of space. Now, haven't we just been talking about space <laughs> for the entire three, three sections of this course? Look, it's kind of a weird thing to say we're only now talking about space, but we're going to start talking about the more practical and tangible aspects of space. Space is kind of a place. Uh, how do we get there? Where are we going? And what do we need to do? And a lot of this is more than just understanding the physics and orbits of getting into space, something we will explore, but other areas as well. So it's kind of like humans in space or the utilization of space or space flight should maybe the top topic of this course. Yep. So we're going to start off by asking what's the definition of space? Um, how high do you have to go to be in space? We're going to talk about the different sorts of orbits that you can be in, in space because they all have very different practical uses. And then we're going to go on to perhaps the biggest difference between this part of the course and the previous ones, which is the money. How much does it actually cost to do various things in space? There are a huge range of things we can do in space, and most of them are not going to get done, not because they're impossible, but because it just costs too much. The cost-benefit equation doesn't work out. That's right. So, and exploring economics is one of these examples of this other stuff we have to explore. So even if we can afford it, are we actually legally allowed to do it? Yes, there is law in space, and it is just as complicated as one may imagine. And there's other complicated things that we send and do in space, right, Paul? That's right. So even if you can afford it and the lawyers will allow you to do it, are you going to die in the process? What does space do to the human body? Hint, it's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> and so after exploring some of these really big, interesting topics, we're going to start getting into the nitty gritty of some of these details. Are we going to start going to the moon? Are we really going to start colonizing Mars? These are really big questions that we've asked. But what do we need to do? How are we going to do it? And is it possible? And are there other areas of space and space exploration that we're going to start doing? And we're going to go through this as part of this course. We're going to talk a lot about how you actually launch things into space, because if you can't get past the atmosphere, nothing else matters. And how you communicate with things in space. Let's say you've built this super duper robot probe that's exploring the craters of Mars, and discovers life on Mars, and then can't tell you, what's the point? <laughs> And finally, we'll kind of look at some of the big future ideas. Are we really going to mine asteroids? We started to talk about this in the solar system course, but what is the money involved and how practical is it? Are we going to actually travel to another star system? Is it possible? Is the technology there? Is the economics there? So we're going to start summing up some of these really big topics into really specific visions of our space future. Okay, so let's go and investigate space. Great. So in this course, we're going to talk about space technology, exploration, all of those sorts of things. And as we just mentioned, we're going to talk about lots of different areas involved in it. But what do we mean by space, Paul? So that's what we're going to zoom in on in this particular first lesson in the space section. We're going to be talking about what is space? What's the definition of space? Where's the boundary between you? air and space. And we're also going to talk about how space is different from the Earth. I mean, is it lack of gravity? Is it lack of atmosphere? Uh, what is it that makes things in space different? And how is that going to affect how we use things in space, how things behave? And so we're going to talk a lot about orbits, for example, which would not be possible without the different properties of space. Now, some of this may overlap with the planets section and part of the course. Um, so if that's the case, Check the notes below uh, and you can skip forward a few of these videos and to the next lesson. But if not, get ready to launch into it. <laughs> 